com check. One, two, three, com check. Can I record in three, two, one, now. Greetings and salutations. It is I, James UI22, and we're playing Slender, the popular indie game that's gone around the internet, and uh, I just couldn't resist. So it's about damn time, eh? What's this? Alright. Alright, let's do this. So I'm going to tell a story as I play this game. First things first, introductions. It's kind of a bitch to find this thing. Send some. Well, not really. You just gotta type it in and know where to download it. Ironically, this actually isn't the first game. There's another game before this that a lot of people know about. It's called Slender Man. Or some shit. I'll talk about it. You'll see. I'm gonna go over several things of what I think of this game. I actually haven't played it, but I've seen other people play it and finish it. And just give you my idea of the how I. Just. Yeah, I'll just give you that. Alright. Hmm, my screen's a bit laggy. Walk, jog. How do you sprint? I don't know. Okay, so, first off, how I found Slender. Well, uh, I saw some trending videos on YouTube, and one of them was the Slender, and uh, I clicked on it, and yeah, it looked like a fucking terrifying game when people were playing through it. And, uh,. Actually, supposedly the best idea is to start with a tree. Um, the thing is that, uh, one sec. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, what was it? Right, right, I saw it, and at first, yeah, I'll get into it later, but, uh, my first thoughts on it was, wow, this looks like a great game. Minimalist. Well, that's what it said in the description of the download. Like, this place, it, it is a description it's given is a minimalist horror game. I would give it the thing of an indie, you know, it's independent. I would call it, a, I would call it actually a puzzle horror game because technically it's maze-like and you gotta look for pages and shit. Anyway, when I first saw someone play through Slender and shit, I thought it was, you know, great once again. And you know, the whole idea is you don't know what's going on. Supposedly you're some woman, or at least what I thought was the story originally was you're some woman stuck in the woods while some dude's trying to get you. And that's what the game, and that's what the title, that's what I thought the title originally meant, Slender, meant. As, it's going to sound creepy, but uh, uh, that's what that's what I thought. That's what I thought it was meant to be, like, uh, Slender, like, uh, kind of like uh, women are, you know, soft, pretty, all that stuff. I'm not a serial killer. And the idea, and so, yeah, that's what I thought it was. And then I f you found out later, like, I think someone dropped in the commentary that suppose this is actually a little girl, like, oh, that's even more sick. And then the game, like, clicked into, at least what I first originally thought what it was about was, uh, you know, some, some sick serial killer just sends kids into this, uh, closed off forest area and just plays games with them. He probably wrote these fucking papers and he's gonna track me down and just, this is just foreplay for his sick ass mind. But no, that's not it. Also the, but, uh, nothing ever happened, oh, there it is. Don't look where it takes you. That's fucking terrifying. I'm also going to give my critique later of this game and what I think of it and what I think could be improved. I don't know. Anyway, fog is a new thing. <laughs> I think I need to update my graphics card because it ain't picking up. It's just making it look like crap. Anyway, uh. Oh, shit. The thing is that, uh, so I found out it's actually. Ba the whole game is based around this new, like, uh, fake-ass urban, le fake urban legend that's kind of been thought up. It's really cool about this slender man. So it's not actually, like, a creepy, dark, twisted story about serial killers or something. It's about more of the supernatural. There he is. And, uh, okay, cool. I was actually kind of disappointed about that, but alright. And then I dug into what exactly, what the fuck is slender man? Because the name actually sounds kind of lame. And, uh, that's what I looked into, like, the whole mythos that's been, uh, created. Supposedly it's, some, um, and it's actually a really good story. I like it. I love good, s scary stories. Always watches no eyes. Yeah, terrifying. Um, is that... How do you sprint? It crashed. Are you kidding me? Oh, I know it didn't. Oh, fuck! No! Move! Alright, alright. 
Oh, fuck, I'm lost. I, I, I don't know if you saw, but my screen went... I, I, I bumped shift too many times, and, uh... He's... he's... Um, which means I'm... fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Alright. Apparently he's pretty fast, and we have to try out maneuver him. Um, if, if you didn't see, I hit shift too many times because I don't know how to sprint. It said shift, and I'm pushing shift, but all she does is jog. I, whatever. Um, the thing is... I hit shift too many times and my screen like uh, cut off and wanted me to like make a hotkey for some shit. I don't know. Try to fuck me over. And now I'm lost. I know from what I've seen that this is. Uh, I better actually get this damn thing out of the way while I can. The house. It's a fucked up house. It's not one you want to stay in for one for an extended period of time. And the fucked up part is the papers all over the place and you can just get cornered and lose. Anyway. So, I found out about the myth, so I started digging into what the fuck Slender Man actually is. And supposedly it's some urban legend that's been created on some forms. Motherfucker, screwing me over. Uh, about, you know, just this, uh, this, this, we don't know what it is. And, like, the, the whole, his gig is that he has no face, really long arms. And he, he and the idea is, you know, he just shows up. And you just feel like you're being watched, and he just takes you. That's it. You disappear. <sighs> right where I can be fucking cornered. You sons of... Ain't that fucking appropriate. Ain't that fucking appropriate. And, you know, that's... That's a great idea. That's fucking terrifying. You don't know what this is. He shows up in pictures sometimes, and people... And, and around kids, and they just fucking disappear. That's... That's great. That's brilliant. And, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna run for this right now. And so, you know, that's that's a great story idea, and then, the, and then you know, it's the mythos that's slowly starting to build up around him, it's great. I love it. Oh my god, that looks horrid. Let's forget... Maybe these updates aren't going good with my computer. I have a crap computer, in case you're wondering. I need a new one. Where's the paper? Oh yeah, now the papers don't always show up here. I'm actually kicking ass at this game. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm already at five. And I have no idea where everything else... Oh, fuck. Not today, asshole. Anyway, uh, what was... So, yeah, that was great. And so, I actually found this video. The series of videos called... Now I'm gonna move on to another critique. So, like, yeah, the Slender Man's some uh, paranormal entity that takes children, and if, like, adults run into them, they go insane or some shit, whatever. A good idea, good story, it's creepy. It's good. Like, to, yeah, just some really tall figure with no face just comes and takes shit, takes your kids. And, you know, like, before he comes to you, or takes kids and teenagers, there we go, and before he comes to you, you dream of someone watching you, and that's supposed to up the creepiness because he has no face, no eyes, no mouth, or anything. So that's, that's great. I love just love scary stuff like that. It's great. Um, I hate this tube. Uh, Cause you know why? It, when you're in a game like this and where you're surrounded, you want to know where you know the the danger is. But this tube just like immediately sh shuts down your situational awareness. And like I always feel like when watching other people play, and as I'm playing right now, that he's just gonna be at a corner, just a little bit obscured, and just ambush your ass. Anyway, I found this video, and of course there's some mock-up videos of him, or fake-ass documentaries of uh, the Slender Man, and how his sightings are becoming more and more uh, frequent, and Hydra Kids, or whatever the fuck. And, but I found, I stumbled across these, uh, these, this video series called Marble Hornets. Go look at it, it's awesome. Fuck! Yeah, that's what I also need to talk about. I'll talk when I critique this game. Six for eight, so he does catch you. How do you jog? Options. Whatever. Um, and I'm gonna talk about Marvel Holics. It's great. This is a whole setup. It's kind of a bit typical of its handheld footage of people who have encountered Slender Man and are just being haunted by him. The thing about it, though, is it originally starts off with with a friend finding this other friend who was the dude that was being haunted by Slender 
the videotapes because he was making a movie called Marble Hornets and eventually just gets scared off and disappears. And the friend is uploading the videos trying to figure out what happened. And they actually did some really good shit. I mean, I've actually always wanted to kind of get into filmmaking, so I've studied that shit. And some of their, some of their good... They, got, they have some really good stuff. They know how to make it creepy. You know, no sound sometimes and just a unsteady camera. Just not showing you what's happening. That's great. They're some real good... Uh, just a uh, um, creepiness to make you feel nervous when watching the videos, but, but, I don't know. There's like sixty, or actually sixty-one episodes because apparently it's still going. That been uploaded, and I'm like thirty in, and I feel like it's been going on for too long. The thing is, they kind of slow too much of Mr. Slenderman, and, and then they don't. It's like you can tell it's fake at sometimes, and so like I'm really I've lost my fear, of it all. Uh, from, because it this videos actually started out great. It was creepy, and like maybe I could, but my suspension of dis disbelief was destroyed, kind of. Now, they just showed a bit too much of him, like uh, some. They have like this mannequin they use, I think, and they show him in frame. But sometimes they just show too much of it, and you know it's a mannequin. And you just don't feel it. And other times they do. I don't know how they do it, but they got great makeup or however. They got someone like in a suit moving, and. Like, like, I think the second episode in or something, you show him, like, Slender Man using his arms and peeking through a window. And it looked fantastic and, and, and creepy. And I thought it was great. But then... Oh, shit. Fuck. You asshole. Anyway, uh, and it looked great. But the thing is, they showed... Like, and then they, sh but then they just kind of, like, show him walking and stuff like that, and that's the problem. You sh they showed too much of him that I kind of lost, it lost its scariness. I, like, I really do think it's, you know, I don't know, it's a dude in a suit or a mannequin. I, I, when you can't tell what it is, it's the best. You gotta let the audience's imagination make the jump for you. And uh, they just kind of did too much. I, I just... And now, since they showed him so much, like in a lot of the early episodes, and now they sometimes they don't show him at all, or like how they're oh the tree moves, huh. um, I I just don't feel it anymore. There, okay, I think that's why I died the last game. I got I got a bone to pick with that. I think it's true now, um, but look, we'll, I'll get to it soon enough. The thing is, I I don't. Um, like, yeah, the video's still going, and it's 30 episodes in, and I don't really think it's going on for too long. No resolution. But they have done, like, some real cool shit. Like, they, you see those papers show up in the video? There's some uh, silo in here. You know, a silo, really tall medical thing, a uh, metal thing, with a circle, a tower. And in the video, and it looks great. It looks like they're really, like, sticking to the source material. Oh, what the fuck? Am I running towards him? I don't think so. Damn. Oh shit. Damn, I think he's like cornering my ass, maneuvering me. Anyway, <sighs> Christ, I gotta get focused. Anyway, uh, what happens is, yeah, like they do stay real close to the source material, and it's great. I mean, these guys are pretty good, know what they're doing, but once again, I just, I just don't feel it anymore. I don't know what it is. And now, like, the idea was that... I know what it is. They dropped the original premise a little too quickly. Because the point was now it's progressed that the guy who's trying to find out what happened to his friend is now being haunted by Slender Man. And uh, now it's gone on to him. And that's just like... Ten... Uh... Just like ten entries in. And, like, it's like it's been completely forgotten. And it shows that if it's going to go back to it, then I don't mind. I may be jumping the gun first and saying that they kind of messed up already. And I've lost interest. I'm going to keep watching and see where this is going. I mean, this is just a halfway critique of the videos. But it just... I don't know. It, just, it feels like they dropped the ball a bit for me. They've lost the original focus. Maybe I'm being too critical. Now... Because, like, yeah, don't take that as for certain. That's not my, that's not my stand. If, like, I watch the next episode and it ends up being fantastic, then I'll do this again and I'll take it all back and give my good opinions on it. But till then, I'm I'm just kind of on the rock on the ropes against it. Anyway, <sighs> shit, I'm so lost. Anyway, now this game. <sighs> what I've seen of it and what I'm seeing now. 
grass moves, good, creates immersion, but like, okay, I get the idea, it's uh, it's made by some independent developer, probably like, maybe even just one guy, putting a game together, and for that, it's really good for what it is, it, as I, if you think of it in the context of a puzzle horror game, where you're in a maze trying to find pieces while trying to elude uh, something that might just, that's scary. Oh, fuck, almost passed up the rocks. Now, here's the thing, though. There's one of the things that makes this game so terrifying is you don't know Slender, or, like, eventually, like, the rules of engagement with him, so to speak. Like, okay, you look at him for too long, he takes you. He eventually catches you. And there's a lot of conflicting data. Oh, fuck! And then there's a lot of, like, conflicting data of uh, what happens. So from a, and, I, and I've, I've dabbled into programming before. So from games, I so when I play games, I actually like to think of uh, what the functions and their coding or programming would be to uh, for the AI of this guy. You know, obviously you pick up a page, you'll spawn, and the idea is, you know, the more pages you get, the closer it gets to you. So you like minimize the minimum distance. So more pages, like the maximum distance it keeps from you, it gets smaller and smaller. Okay, pretty basic. But then there's I hear it floating around like if you don't look at him long enough, he'll just like spawn right at you and kins to kill you, which just happens, so I think that happens. But you have to keep looking at him t so that doesn't happen, and uh, I don't know, like every now and like, like in intervals you gotta see him or he'll just like spawn at you and insta kill you, which I think is what happened to me. Uh, actually, I'm pretty damn sure is what happened to me. So, I mean, uh, it kind of defeats the purpose, or at least of what the approach is here, since it's minimalist, is that you're supposed to be, the atmosphere you're supposed to create is, uh, you fear what you don't see, but if you force yourself to see him too much, you just kind of get over it, and, and, I don't know, it just, uh, it just feels contradictory to itself. And, you know, and then there's all kinds of rules, like, it, you can look at him without you can look at him longer. Like, if you look at him, then he won't chase you for that long. Or, like, he'll stop chasing you for a bit. I'm not even gonna look right. And, uh... And, like, it also, like, increases your sprint speed and duration for a bit of a while. Makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna circle back around to the house. Play it smart, kids. Anyway, which is interesting, so... and But there's conflicting stuff, like, uh... Supposedly six pages, also I heard from someone else, or like you hear someone else in commentaries, or in co the comments of YouTube, is that uh, at once you're six pages in, he can actually run, like, out now, I think the idea is I can outrun him. I just need to s see him every now and again, so he doesn't, oh shit, so he doesn't uh, insta-kill me, or he'll just occasionally jump at you, or jump into your line of vision, makes sense. Uh... But that piano is very really unsettling. I don't know why. Oh, shit, I lost my train of thought. Fuck. Let's have another look, shall we? Yep, he's right there. And, well, I guess he can catch up to you eventually if... But the idea is, you know, six pages in, then that's when he's faster than you and he will catch you. That might have happened to me too. And, like, I remember some dude's strategy was to bump the sprint and uh, eventually I run him and cause fuck I am not remembering where anything is and uh, you know eventually memorize where everything is and that's that's it and that's uh, you know and eventually with that you can uh, you know plan a map in your head a strategy of attack and uh, beat the game which then seen, I've seen the end of the game and what happens when you collect all pages and I'm a little disappointed with that too I'm not going to say it because I have very every intention of beating this fucking game <laughs> maybe not in this session though uh, and yeah so but then you hear like if you sprint then he actually catches up to you faster so so it just makes me curious of what exactly his real coding is like of course you don't say it because you don't want people to figure it out Whatever. So, I don't know. The game, for what it is, it's, it's good. It's great. And, like, actually, there's, like I was saying, there's an original game before this called Slender Man, which that video is Marvel Hornets did really well. And stick to the trail, because it leads you to most of the damn things. He's behind me! 
No, he isn't. He's right there. So he teleports and jumps around. What the fuck? I'm only two pages in. Come on. I did it again. I did it again. Can't wait to see what the video's gonna look like with that. Uh, this fog update is not going good with my graphics card update. <sighs> Fucking. Oh, look. Ain't that some blind luck? That's what I get for not using the video. Sure, using damn radiant. I don't know. What are good graphics cards, guys, that kind of like work with everything? I need something more robust. Or should I just get a Mac? <laughs> Have you guys heard about the latest operating system? Uh, Mountain Lion? Fucking train wreck that thing. So I hear. I don't know. Wow, that's fantastic. Just look at that. Wow. Well, Christ. I have to actually bring up something interesting, now that, since I think what I know what the problem- Oh, fuck. Go. Damn it. Oh, I was four. 